Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another vlog. It is Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. Like I just said, welcome back to yet another vlog, guys. What is good? Hope you're having a good day, good week, whatever it may be. Let's go ahead and jump right into this vlog. What we do have planned for today's vlog is some day trading. No gym in today's vlog, only because I do work later tonight at 7 p.m. Um, so no gym, but like I said, we have some day trading planned right now. I actually had to stop at Walmart um, before I came home from work. So it's about like 8 a.m. right now. Um, to get another SD card for my camera and also this adapter that I'll show you because I lost my SD card and my adapter to be able to plug the SD card into my MacBook if that makes sense. So for one, I lost all my footage. Number two, I lost my adapter so I just had to spend like $50 total on an SD card and an adapter. It's all good guys. I wanted to make sure I could still get the vlogs in. Um, but yeah, we're about to go ahead and get in the ice plunge right now. Um, really don't want to do it, but that's the point in it. So uh, let's go ahead and hop in there real quick, and then we'll, we'll head back inside. All right, y'all, about to go ahead and put these two 20-pound bags of ice in here. Uh, wait, 10 pounds. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, 20 pounds. They're 20 pounds. They're 20 pounds. Yeah, they're 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds. Let's go and put both of these in. I'm actually spending about $5 every single time I do this ice bath. So I'm about to order like these big ice molds from Amazon. I'll probably still get two bags of ice, but it doesn't get as actually as cold as I want it still to be, even with two 20, two 20 pound bags of ice. So with that being said, let me just uh, unclip my mic. Um, I'm probably gonna get these other um, things from Amazon. Like I said, fill them up with water and throw them to like big, like big when you like there's four of them when you fill them up they're like 7.4 pounds of ice i'm about to put four of those in here as well as two pounds of uh or sorry 40 pounds of ice i'm gonna go get my thermometer and see what we're actually temping at right now yeah right now we're only temping about 80 58 degrees fahrenheit but we still got ice in here so it probably will get a little bit colder but i want it to at least be like 50 or lower bro like 45 to 50 I'm happy with and then we'll honestly we'll gradually probably go lower than that probably no lower than like 35 um, Which is super cold, but that's what it needs to really be at but I haven't done these for a while If you guys do remember my old vlogs I used to do these all the time Getting back on them because I really feel like these actually do build your discipline up and they can carry on carry over to other aspects of your life like I swear not even making this up the most money I've ever made while trading is from when I was doing these consistently and I think it was because I was doing this consistently, because I was so disciplined, um, I was doing this every day, and my, I was just had a disciplined lifestyle, and that's why, you know, I think it carried over into my trading, because I honestly believe that if you cannot be disciplined in life and other areas besides trading, you won't be a profitable trader, and that's that. So, I'm about to go ahead and let this get a little bit colder, and then we're about to hop in. Alright, it's about like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, still not where I wanted to be, but let's go ahead and hop in for two and a half minutes. Let's get it.
All right, y'all, we are back in the crib. It is almost about 8.30. About to go ahead and brush my teeth and wash my face real quick. And then we will be hopping on the charts to show you guys all the levels we do have marked out for today on SPY. QQQ, IWM, and awesome AMD. I went ahead and actually um, pretty much got all the levels marked out uh, last night at work. So I'll hop on the MacBook here in a second and show you guys the levels. All right, you guys, it is about 9.15 a.m. right now. Let's go ahead and go over all the levels very, very quickly here on SPY, IWM, QQ, and AMD. I think this is the last one I forgot to say. Forgive me if I already uh, said that one, but let's go ahead and jump into SPY. We are on the one hour time frame. I'm going to be giving you guys a very, very brief overview of what we have and watch today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move, jump up actually to the four hour time frame. We actually have been a very bullish overall trend here on SPY. What I'm looking at and what I'm seeing us sitting at right now is a key resistance and as some and supply zone as you can see we came up to retest the zone one two three four like a bunch of times so i'm either looking for a break and hold above this level or a possible rejection for puts off this level if we do get a strong rejection um so yeah it's everything i'm watching there for spy today let's go ahead and move on to qqq same thing here for qqq is spy um we have this very strong i think i think this is all-time highs um on qqq if we get a rejection around here could be a very good opportunity for puts if we get a break and a hold above that could be a very good opportunity for longs if we get any sort of pullback and i see us get a strong bounce it could be a very 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 good uh, opportunity for calls just because like i said we've been in that very overall bullish trend a very strong trend on spy and also qqq here We've also been in a very strong bullish trend on AMD here today, guys. So we're going to be trading with overall trend, overall higher time frame trend. So what we're going to be looking for is a break and a hold. I guess you could say, honestly, above pre-market highs now for calls. Look for, uh, look for maybe even a pullback for calls. Look for rejection around this strong resistance and supplies. And as you can see, rejected one, two, three, four, five, five times previously in the past based off that information we can we can you know kind of make um an educate a very very educated good guess if we do get a strong rejection of this level that you know puts could pay could be a very high risk reward right there um um same thing with iwm we're actually at the top of this downtrend right now also at a major support and res or sorry resistance and supply zone here as you can see had some rejections in the past if we do get a break and above a hold this break sorry a break I'm trying to talk way too quickly right now. Let me slow down. If we do get a break and hold above this trend line and also this resistance and supply zone, I could definitely see us trading calls up into like 207-ish. If we do get a rejection off here, take puts down into like 206 or even down into 205-65-ish. And that should be everything. Um, I think I hit everything. I don't think I missed anything. So we have about 13 minutes till market opens, guys. As always, I'll be keeping you guys updated throughout the day. I do apologize about the face cam right now. Honestly, I don't think the angle is too bad and the picture should be pretty good. I'm still working on getting my DSLR um, mounted up for the webcam because that's what it was supposed to be. But it keeps giving me technical um, issues. Um, I honestly might be getting a new DSLR or a new type of camera anyways. So um, just bear with me, guys. Hopefully it's not too bad. I also do have this um, microphone here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Enjoying these vlogs, guys. I'm going to be start going a lot harder with them, trying a lot more with them and not half-assing them because I really honestly like making these videos for you guys and honestly just for myself. And um, why not just go all in if I really want to turn this into a career and really want to go far with this. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys appreciate the vlog, guys. Hope you guys do enjoy this vlog. Let's absolutely crush and kill the market today, guys. Let's start this week right. And, um, yeah, let's just crush and kill it. Um, so, yeah, I'll be keeping you guys updated. Like I said, um, throughout the day, I keep repeating myself, I know, but like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, yo, I am in some QQQ puts. Let me go ahead and show you guys why I actually am in these QQQ puts. Let me go ahead and pull up trading view here. Very, very solid setup. We're already up about 18% on these puts right now, guys. 16%. Very, very solid trade so far. Let me go ahead and pull up QQQ here very, very quickly. Um basically why we're on qqq is we're rejecting this key resistance and supply zone i was talking about pre-market very very solid trading right now guys we're literally up about 18 percent now i took a day out contracts did not take zero dte took one day out just be just in case we did get that bounce and then get a move lower i would not get you know stopped out because you know zero dtes do move very very crazy 
Um, probably just going to go ahead and sell here. I'm um, up about 25%. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and sell here. Very, very solid trade here. Already up about almost 2% on the account today. Very, very, very solid trade there, guys. Um, we sold up about almost 2%, like I just said, on the account, guys. I'm um, sorry. I'm just kind of struggling here to uh, think about what I'm doing just because so much is going on. But I'll go ahead and show you guys here in a bit um, how much we actually just made um, and how much we're up on the account right now, guys. But first trade of the day, very, very solid trade there on QQQ. Go ahead and go over it a little bit more in detail since I don't have to stress about actually being in this trade and um, you know stuff like that. So I was rejecting a very, very strong resistance and supply zone up around here. Um, waited for that five minute bearish candle to close off that level. Had lots of selling pressure, lots of bearish momentum coming into the market. Closed a very, very solid five minute candle off that level below VWAP. Altogether, very, very beautiful trade. Very nice trade. Lots of confluences to tell me to get into sales. Um, yeah, first trade of the day. Almost up 2% on the account. Um, may not even trade for the rest of the day um, since we do have to work in the evening. Might just call it a day here. And um, get some rest, get to bed early, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right, y'all, it is about 6 p.m. right now. Um, like I said, I didn't know, uh, I wasn't sure when I was going to give you guys the next update. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. But I went ahead, took a nap before work. Honestly, went to sleep before work. I'm about to go ahead and leave here in about 5 to 10 minutes. With that being said, um, pretty much it for the vlog. I'm not going to go ahead and end it yet. I'm going to end it once we actually do get to work. Had an amazing training day today. Started the week strong. And like I said, I promised I'd show you guys the return on the account. So I will show you that once we get to work. Hit you guys then. All right, y'all. It is about 6.30 p.m. I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. There is the return on the account for the day. So like I said, guys, that is going to be it for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am at work, as you guys can see now. Love and appreciate all the support you guys have been showing in the recent videos. Keep it up, guys. I'm going to keep going hard with these vlogs. Like I just said, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.